you know, this bear has been making tracks all over the South Shore. This was one of a number of sightings and close encounters in the past 48 hours here in Cohasset. Lars, it's just a black bear in the backyard. This is the moment Lars, a 110 pound Great Pyrenees, came face to face with a black bear. It was uh, holy moly. Lars, leave it! For Lars, it was a tail wagging moment, not so much for Yogi. The bear was growling actually. The bear was doing this kind of low. He was not all that excited to see Lars. That's when Vincent Dunn swooped in and made his move. I thought about it for a second, then I was like, I just, I don't want this to go south. Fortunately, Lars is not easily spooked. A livestock protector by breed, he knows his own strength. He loves the outdoors, gets around town in style, especially when his parents take him for ice cream. And in this moment, was totally chill didn't even bark. He generally saves that for the middle of the night. They're kind of nocturnal, kind of really loud barkers. <gasps> Lars, leave it. Leave oh my God, leave, oh my God. The whole encounter was actually Lars, a lot more traumatic it. slash exciting for Lars's family. It's like, you know, I haven't seen a black bear even in Alaska, never mind yeah. in Cohasset. But in the past two days, this black bear could be seen all over town. Cohasset police kept a close eye and a running picture show on their Facebook page. Back on Jerusalem Road, the Duns were relieved when the bear finally made his exit. And then climbed down these rocks and into the pond and started swimming and swam right across and then just ambled into the woods like he owned the place. At Cohasset, police say the bear seems to be heading north, and this evening, Hingham police tweeted this photo of the bear over near World's End. Police are asking residents to keep an eye out and to keep your distance. Give this wild animal some space. Ed Maria, we're live in Cohasset. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm not going <laughs> No, I didn't. Me either.